Hello, hunters, the sheep cure here, and welcome back to Pokemon Adventures Red Chapter. This is part number 12, and last time we saved Blaine from Moltres, and then we got Mewtwo for him. And I think that's all we did really did plot-wise, but now we gotta go to Saffron City to save Professor Oak. And now these guards are gone, so we can enter Saffron City once and for all. Here's Green waiting for us. Hiya, hubby. C Green! Oh my, what are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? You sent me a message on my phone! You know what, Red? We got so much catching up to do. Let's have a battle! What? A battle? Well, looks like that may not be happening. Or not. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you. I've called you here because I need to get inside Saffron City. I'll see you at Route 7. Okay, looks like we'll be heading off there. Route 7 is right over here. And there's Blue. Let's talk to him. The barrier is huge. If one Pokemon is projecting this whole thing, I bet there's a weak spot like the very center of the barrier. Maybe I can fly over the barrier. Uh, no, not right now. So is Green just going to talk to us? Is he your friend? He's not much of a talker. So are we not able to enter here? Yeah, there's a barrier. I guess I gotta talk to Blue and fly over the barrier. Let's go do that then. Here we are. Hmm? I was about to fly over the barrier myself. Stop trying to copy me. Who's copying who? Silly boys. Top, bottom, or center doesn't make a difference. This barrier is so strong, there's no way to break through this barrier. At least, not from the outside. Hmm. Not everything has to be physical. Come out! Quack! Golduck, scan the city! Golduck's psychic powers allow Golduck to scan an entire city. Nothing can stop it. Not even a strong, repelling barrier. Now I'll just channel Golduck's sight and thoughts into the Pokedex. Hmm? Mime! Mr. Mime is the Pokemon that is erecting this barrier. He's using Light Screen! I'm gonna get rid of that Mr. Mime! Oh, and how are you going to do that? You won't be able to get near him without breaking through the Light Screen. I'll think of a way. That will be the day. Brilliant! Together both of you can win! Separately, you two can just keep scores. Do you think this is a Game Boy Advance game or something? Hmm. It just so happened that I could tell you our foe's position. We can't enter in the barrier ourselves, but Pikachu's substitute should be able to bypass the barrier. Golduck, transfer your sensory waves from your reading to Pikachu. Now we're playing as Pikachu in Saffron City. Okay then. We're going to play as Pikachu to stop Mr. Mime. And it's playing the Deoxys piece, that's pretty cool. This is pretty interesting, we can't really enter the buildings right now. A Pikachu substitute doll can't really do that now, can it? But there's a Mr. Mime, we found it, it's T-posing. Okay, there he is! Pikachu, attack! Mister! Did it just talk? Mister Mime! Oh, never mind. Hurry, we'll teleport away! Now we're battling it! And we're actually gonna get to use our whole team against it. It's level 40. I have Roshan up front now, let's just... Oh, I was gonna Shadow Ball, but it used Substitute. And it used Substitute again! It doesn't wanna die! Come on, Mister Mime. You have to give this up eventually. Get out of here, Mister Mime. No more barriers for you! Pika! Okay, the barrier is gone. Pikachu, come back! We did it! Alright, it looks like those two already made it inside. Let's go then. Yep, there he is. We did it! The barrier is gone! They do all the work and I get what I want. Oh, I'm so good. Alright. And off they go. Hey, hey, wait up! They both just left without me. No one can pass. No one can pass. No one can pass. He might be getting away a bit, a bit weird there. Hey, Blue! Listen, you! I didn't do all this just so you could make it your show. Where's my opponent? Where? What's going on now? Team Rocket's everywhere. This is Ten Surge. I'm right here. The final showdown is about to begin. Red, I've been waiting for a rematch. Yeah, a while back we battled Lieutenant Surge, now we're gonna get to rematch him. Oh, looks like he's battling a grunt right now. Never, I'll fight and die for Team Rocket. That can be arranged. Charizard, Heat Wave! Ugh, return Charizard. Oh, aren't you nosy? I'll teach you a thing or two. This is for Eevee! They're the ones who messed up Eevee, yeah. It's a Glaceon now, though. And we're going to use it against you! What? No! Right. You haven't seen the last of me. Now where did he go? Oh, here is the Mr. Old Man. Can't be! 
Oh, yes, it can. Roshan, what are you trying to evolve into now? You evolving into Espeon? Yes, you are. I'll let you do that. Why not? Let's go. Espeon, here we go. There it is. Is your special attack stat higher than Glaceon's, or is it the same? I feel like it might be the same. Hi, sweetie. Are you here to save a little damsel like me? Uh, bad move, little girl. Didn't they ever tell you not to take your eyes off your enemy? Oh, the battle's still going on? No, it's already over. M my Pidgeot! Okay, Blastoise. Send him flying for me. There we go. <laughs> I'm not a bad trainer myself, you see. Meet me in front of Silco. But, but, but... And off she goes. But I need to find Blue. Okay, King hit level 40 and is finally evolving into Venusaur. This happened off screen. So I might as well show it here. King has become a Venusaur at last. There we go. We got ourselves a Venusaur, heck yeah. And now what are its stats like now? It's level 40, so I think I can take him off the experience share now. Yeah, he's no longer weak anymore, so he could get off the XP share. Uh, let's just give him back the Miracle Seed. I should have it right here. There we go. Yeah, he's got to be off the experience here. I think I'm going to put Gary 2 in the party as well. But before that, I want to see what Green's up to here. Hi, sweetie. You see that mean man over there? Yeah. Okay, I have a plan to get both you and me in. Hmm, what's your plan? Okay, listen up. I'm so thirsty. I knew I should have drank something before going for my shift. Trick him into moving with some fresh water. Then we break in. Sounds like a plan. I have to find Blue first. Him? He's already in. What? Really? Grr. Yeah, you better hurry up and find some fresh water. Otherwise, Blue will beat you. I already got some fresh water, dude. Hey. What do you want, kid? Do you want a sip? Thanks, kid, but I'm not that thirsty. I don't mean that. Oh my gosh, yes, please. Thank you, kid. Well, you ain't getting it. Now, I'll teach you to make fun of me. Good job, Red. Now, here's a change of plans. You leave the grunt away, and I'll sneak in. What? See, he? You honestly think I'll let you break in together with me? You'll just slow me down. But I need to find Blue! And you'll be able to find him outside the Stealth Co. He's not even inside. Tee hee! But you said he was! Tee hee, I lied. I'm going to kill you, kid! She left you behind! Got ya! I, uh, um, sorry. You're not going to trick me again? Well, how are we gonna get in now, I wonder? Well, there's something else I wanted to do. Oh, there's Blue. We'll deal with that later. There's something else I wanted to do first. I'm back to Celadon, because there's one thing I wanted to do. It's like some sort of side quest. Or oh, we're continuing off a side quest, really. There we go. But yeah, I wanted to go up north here. We'll surf on Roshan, I guess. And here's this guy. Red, this is embarrassing, but I'm too scared to meet my secret admirer. <laughs> I didn't know you were that shy, Greg. Okay, let's go look for your secret admirers together. Wait, your name is Greg? Uh, yes, he's Greg. Don't tell me you're a secret admirer. Of course not, but I know who you might be looking for, Greg. R Relay? Yes, your secret admirer lives in one of the four houses. I don't remember which one. Oh, really, Sherlock? You know, Greg, I'm actually curious why you're so hyped up over this love letter. It's kind of romantic, right? I guess, but you've never met that person. I'm really, really shy. Besides the Pokemon fan club, I don't really get any chance to meet other people. Therefore, I take every chance I can get. Okay, and then what are you looking for? I don't really care about beauty. Just someone who's right for me. Okay, good luck, Greg. Thanks, Red. Sarah's house. Lucy's house. Joy's house. And... Kent's house. Let's go into Kent's house first, just because. Who are you people? Sorry to barge in, but did you... I don't think this is the one. You're my admirer? I'm... I'm sorry. Must be weird having a guy admiring you. Oh, it is. Sorry, I'm really sorry. Huff, huff. I found the love of my life. A few weeks later. Dear friends and Pokemon lovers, we are gathered here today for Greg's marriage. Really? He's marrying a guy? I always knew he was a guy. I mean, what guy can resist me? You go, pal. I'm happy for you. This isn't right at all. And, yeah. This is true love right there. Are you sure you want to marry me? Most of your friend d doesn't seem to like me. I'm marrying you, not them. I mean, nothing's gonna... What is this side quest, though? 
That was a weird side quest. I didn't even want to read all the dialogue. That was just weird. Let's get this done then. I finally found you. Hello? Don't just ignore me. <laughs> Sabrina. <laughs> you know her? She's part of Team Rocket. I was attacked by her in Professor Oak's lab. So you're responsible for kidnapping my Gramps. Where is he? <laughs> I'll beat the answer out of you. Wait, you'll need help. No, I don't. Hi. Ugh, this, this sound wave. She's a psychic. You two have been a nuisance to Team Rocket for a while now. If you two are gone, all our plans will, fall, will fall perfectly into place. Ugh, I can't even move my arms. <laughs> what? So I broke into Silphco. <laughs> I'll finish you two off later. And off she goes, because Green broke into Silphco. I can't waste any more time. Red, meet me inside Silphco. I'll handle the guard on duty. And there we go. Okay, Blue has dealt with the guard on duty, so we can enter the Silphco now. Here we are. Whoa, this is a pretty fancy building. You sure this is Team Rocket's headquarters? Well, you took your time. My phone went off as well. I got lost, so sue me. By the way, where is everyone? Whatever, let's move. Now, we are moving through Silph Co. Whoa, there's a staircase there, and then there's a staircase there. That's all there really is to this place. Let's not go down, I guess. The game won't let us. It doesn't even give us a message. It just doesn't let us. Huh? Red! Blue! And down I go. <laughs> I'll give you one point for breaking the barrier. But that's all you get. Grr. Now show me what you got. And there goes Koga. Fighting blue now. This place is huge. Team Rocket's gotta be making some real money to have a place like this. Tiki, <laughs> Amazing how far you can go when you slip past one measly guard. Now there's nothing between me and the third floor. Wh wh what was that? Oh well, doesn't matter. I'm here. Wait a minute! I thought I was indoors! <laughs> Through the power of my psychic Pokémon, you will endure your most terrible fears. Are you ready? And now Green is fighting Sabrina. Does that mean I fight Lieutenant Surge? Ouch! I still have no idea how, how I'd survive that. I need to get out of here. Indeed I do. Hope I don't gotta fight any critters. I gotta find a switch or a key for this barricade. Is it in one of these things? Oh, yep, there we go. I just pressed the switch in there. That was pretty simple. And now we got some Team Rockets to fight. Fantastic. You're trying to evolve into a glaze into an Espeon again. I mean, they have the exact same special attack. But then I don't get stabbed from Ice Beam. I'm gonna leave it. If I ever get the TM for Psychic, I will definitely change it to an Espeon and probably reteach them Shadow Ball. But for now, I want to leave it the way it is. So over here, is this a, oh, a card key on the table? Okay, should have just teleported there to begin with. Hopefully this place isn't as much of a puzzle as it is in the normal Pokemon games. Card key works, but it's shattered. And you're not even a trainer. You're not going to fight me? Or should I? I know you won't survive the ordeal the Team Rocket's planned for you. Well, whether you're right or wrong about what you're saying, you are right that there's no point fighting me. What am I supposed to do? Oh, it might just be a switch in a painting. Yeah. And open this door. HMO5 Flash, a rare candy, and a max revive. And you. Can't you see I'm hiding? I need the car key for the door. What? No way, go away. You're still here? Okay, fine. Meet me at the barricade east from here. He's got the key. Why do you have to leave? Is he gonna open the door himself? Okay, I'll unlock it. Happy now? I have to find a new place to hide now. You could've just gave me the key. You didn't have to do that and that is James over there. Are we about to battle Jesse and James again? Not right now, but we will eventually, I'm sure. We just go up the stairs for now. You! Let's just take the teleporter. Let's pass this teleporter. Are you a trainer? No. You're not? Thank goodness. Team Rocket kills every scientist who doesn't join them. I mean, that's why the scientists joined them then. I'm just gonna get this item though. A card key. Hopefully that's not one that breaks. Alright guys, let's use this card key. And it broke, of course it did. Fantastic game. What's down these stairs? It looks like just more trainers. Yeah, we have a linear path once again. Just gotta battle you. They can get their hands on the Master Ball. Yep, just like in the games. Darn it, so exploiting your Pokemon's weak spot didn't work. Well, that'll happen when you throw fire types against a Gyarados. This is a heal point. This is a heal point. Hello, I'm Pony. Take a quick nap. Awesome. Yeah, I'll have great luck, and I guess... Oh, what's beyond that door? 
What about you first? How strong is Gary too? What's their attack stat? Like, 117 though. Thor, how are you still stronger than Gyarados? Come on, they made you way overpowered. Well, I, I mean, if you can't evolve it, that makes sense, but stronger than Gyarados still? And then the, they, they're they still even stronger than that because of the Light Ball and same type of attack bonus. It's just ridiculous, but what's through this door? If I could get through the door? Where am I? This room looks strangely different. Let's go together, Pikachu. Ouch! What's with this wall? These walls. It's full of electricity. Hmm, I felt this exact voltage somewhere before. Wah! Voltorbs! That's it! The Pokemon smugglers in Vermilion City! The bad guy was a gym leader who uses Thunder-type Pokemon, or like to, to be precise. I am Lieutenant Surge, one of the third command triad of Team Rocket. You are a major nuisance. You almost, almost ruined my plan of catching Zapdos back at the power plant. I never went there. Pokemon aren't tools. You can't use them as weapons. <laughs> this time, I won't give you a chance to retaliate. Er, at least I have my Pokemon beside me. But, but why would a gym leader side with Team Rocket? Hmm, a gym leader? Yes, there was a time I did something like that. I lived that role quite thoroughly. Dignity, rules, training, and proper Pokemon battles. And what I did gain in return... What? Anyway, it's all about power at the very end. Where's he going? <laughs> you are surrounded by high voltage fences. One of my Voltorbs is generating the electricity. I wonder whether your Pokemon still have the strength to fight all my Voltorbs. Your little friends no doubt has it even worse. Oh yeah, they do. You can't move at all, can you? Muck has completely rendered you into submission. You're the one from Lavender Town. Last time I was careless. This time I'll make sure you won't get to your Pokeballs. Er, without a Pokemon, a Pokemon trainer is nothing more than just a defenseless kid. Painful, isn't it? You're in Team Rocket's territory. Everything here makes you stronger. Your friend, Red, isn't doing well either. Ha 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 ha. Red? Heh. <laughs> Do you really think you're in any position to worry about your friend? It would be really simple to just kill you now. But I have something to ask you. I understand that you're Professor Oak's grandson. We've been, let's just say, asking him to cooperate. However, he doesn't seem to want to cooperate with us at all. Terrible, isn't it? Now, how do you think we might be able to change his mind? Hmm? You suppose he would change his mind if he sees his grandson suffering in agony and pain? It's your choice. Help us with Granddad or slowly melt in Muck's acid. Well... Scyther! I choose neither! Good job, Scyther. Grr. If I knew I played Possum long enough, you'll let your guard down. Hmm. You think you're clever, eh? Then feast your eyes on Articuno. What? Grr. Kadabra, eliminate that Blastoise. No! Blastoise! Kadabra, psychic now! I, I can't move! <laughs> You're only clever at fooling silly boys. Scared as you are, I figured you led with your strongest Pokemon. So if your Blastoise falls, you're pretty much done, aren't you? <laughs> Do you see? This is what happens when you fight Team Rocket. You're the one who's gonna see something. <laughs> Will the real Blastoise please stand up? Mega Punch! What? If that was Blastoise, then that was... A ditto? I can fool more than just silly boys. I can also play mind games, too. Green's actually doing alright. But we're gonna end it here! Next time, on Pokemon Adventures Red Chapter, we'll be dealing with these Voltorbs. We have Gary 2 up front, he should be able to deal with this, but... Yeah, we'll be doing that next time. 22 hours? We'll always sped up, it's actually less than that, but... Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. And... Happy hunting! <laughs>